doing? It's Craig here again. It's still January the 29th. Uh, as I was doing the video on that pool and saw showing the base gasket leak, uh, UPS showed up with a special treat that I had bought off of eBay. Uh, I purchased this for $31. Uh, $35 shipping. So I've got a total of $66 in it. This is my first real attempt into going into the um, antique, true antique restorations. What we have here is a home light 500. Just a just a straight 500. It's not a, an XL 500 or nothing like that. I'll show you the tag here in just a second. Uh, the bar on it, I believe, is 16 inches. Uh, I believe this is the original bar. It's actually about 17 and a half. So that may be an 18 inch bar. It's pretty complete. It is locked up does not pull over and that was described in the um, posting uh, that when I bought it that it was seized um, it's missing the boot off the spark plug wire here it looks to me like everything it's got the muffler it's got the arrestor screen in it it's got the what looks to be the original um, air filter on the carburetor it is a manual oiler and it does pump it appears like the trigger, the throttle is, is attached. Um, the only thing that I can see right off hand that's missing is there's supposed to be a chip guard or a chain guard chip deflector and it doesn't cover the whole clutch assembly up. It is, the clutch is free. That is a hard nose bar. It's a, I believe that's a 7 16th chain. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to find the chain for that. I might have to convert it to something else. But this guard here is the only thing that I see right off hand that's missing, according to an IPL that I looked at that was on Leon's Chainsaw and Parts um, webpage. He's got a lot of um, good information information on there but especially about these older home lights and, and a lot of older saws in general but um see if I can't zoom in on the on the tag there sorry about that guys let this thing auto focus if it will I may have to may have to take the camera. Well, there we go. There it is. Home light chainsaw model 500. I'm going to take this camera off. It's going to shake a little bit. I want to get down and, and get the um, serial number. Because as far as I know, this particular blue saw was only made for just about a year and a half or so. One zero eight zero 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 nine. That's the serial number. So I'm going to try to find out when this saw was made, but this color blue, light metallic blue. was only made for about a year and a half uh, like January of 61 I think it said is when they switched from this blue over to the more common home light red so I know I'm bouncing out around trying to get it set level again. I'm not sure 
if the oil line is correct that is a, a plastic or a rubber hose I believe them were supposed to have been copper so that's probably been replaced at one point but like I said it does have what looks to be the original muffler you can still see I'm, you probably can't see down in there but the hose for the carburetor is still hooked up to it I can see it I mean for $31 I don't think I got hurt even if I cannot make it run I'll take and blast this thing clear apart and paint it all up get it looking like almost brand new I'll put some decals on it and um, see if I can't talk the wife into letting me set it up on the fireplace mantle in the house okay hope you enjoyed see you in the next video